Hi, my name is Neral. I'm currently a software engineering intern at Agoda Thailand. So let's get to the point. October 2021, I need to look for a summer job. So I applied to a bunch of companies and got my first interview. Welcome, kid. Oh, hi. Uh, good morning, sir. Oh, you are from one of the best engineering schools in our country. Your parents must be proud. Yes, they are. Okay, so let's start with something easy. Let's do some problem. You probably know this, right? A function that returns a pair. Of Wait, hold on, hold on. What the them. hell is this? I I've never seen this before. Oh, yeah, I, I, I got this easy peasy. So where do I even start? And what is this uncomfortable feeling when this guy stares at me? Uh, what language should I even use? A, a Python or? You know, the brute force way. O in square. Could try that. Oh, right. Uh, o in squared. Um, o in squared? Uh, what the hell is that? Uh, is that a binary search? No, 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 no. Maybe it's the Fibonacci thing. No, not that one either. Yeah, yeah, it's probably... Dijkstra, yes, yes, Dijkstra. Nested loops. Yeah, what can you do with them? Nested loop, my ass. Fuck, I cannot cool with a stranger staring at me. Holy shit, think of something cool to say. Oh my god. Holy crap, it's the first question on lead code. To some. You're such a shame to your school. Your parents, you know, my son, he's a doctor and he makes 500. K USD a year. Look at you, a failure. Failure. We essentially, I spent the first five minutes staring at the clock, and the last five also staring at the clock because I didn't know what the fuck he wanted me to do. I learned it the hard way what coding interviews are about. To land a job offer, you need two things. One, an interesting resume. Two, coding skills. One way to make your resume stand out is to put on projects with matching tech stacks. Mine were Flutter projects. At least for the position I applied for, they mentioned um, React, Vue, Angular, or Flutter. I also took a quick tutorial on the Merge stack and put that on my resume. This is what it looks like. Well, since I was just starting out on data structures and algorithms, I needed something to speed me up. That's when AlgoExpert came into play. I went through their data structures and algorithms crash course, then I powered through all ECs and most mediums. I also did a few ECs and mediums on LeetCode, uh, specifically under the blind 75 list. Although you can cold apply through the career portal, I actually asked a school alumni for a referral to look for potential alumni. On the company's page on LinkedIn, you could scroll down under the people section and click on whichever school you're from. Maybe you can slide into their DMs. From my experience, most people are nice enough provided that you ask them nicely. I interviewed on a platform called CodeSignal. I was given an hour to solve one coding question, which was about easy, medium, lead code. The question was an object-oriented design one. After an hour passed by, the interviewer jumped into my call. We went through our resume, also a few behavioral questions like what makes you want to work here. You can look up the company culture on sites like Glassdoor or Blind, or tell them that you've watched my video. That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> Although the interview process went smoothly, the same did not apply to my first week. I went in only knowing the very basics of web development, so a lot of the stuff they taught in the training session were still new to me. Stuff like MVC design architecture, service repo pattern, dependency injection, unit tests, integration tests, and end-to-end -end tests. Also stuff like CICD, Docker, Kubernetes, and GitLab. Holy shit. I would say I, it was pretty rough. <laughs> I got Les Jackson's C Sharp tutorials to help out. Also, along with this book. Moreover, a lot of other interns have had prior work experiences. I mean, look at this guy. He has had three internships 
and a part-time job beforehand. So I felt really far behind. One way to catch up though is to ask a lot of dumb questions. That sounds counterintuitive, right? But you'll be surprised by how much knowledge and clarification you can gain by getting these dumb questions out of the way. For example, I wasn't even sure how to use git through the command lines because I had always been using this panel on VS Code all the time. So I had to ask around. Imagine how stupid I looked. So if you're stuck on something, just ask even if they're dumb questions. Yeah, you can do this to your more experienced teammates as if they were your personal mentors. Talking to my manager has also helped me a ton. He has given me um, advice on like stuff like career, interpersonal relationships. He's a really cool guy. So yeah, my internship's ending this August. If you want to see what a typical day looks like at Agoda, uh, you can drop a comment down below and see ya.